we finally get up to Pumapunku and I'm just observing the mountain ranges up there and I'm looking at them and I'm zooming in with my camera phone and I see these weird striations coming down the interior side of the mountain going down toward valley and I'm looking at them and it looks like a severe amount of either erosion or some type of a, you know, moving from glaciers, scraping across the, the, the mountaintops. Do you have any information from your geological background on what that could possibly be? You might be looking at something that's uh, structural in the in the mm. rocks, mountains themselves. I mean, if you've got most of the, the layers of rocks start out horizontal, then through compression, they're folded up. Most of them, this is orogenesis, mountain building. So now you can have layers that are tilted, right? So then, of course, if you scraped away a thousand feet of the mountain, you would still be looking at those same layers. On the other hand, it could be just purely on the surface. My first impression would be it's probably in the uplifting, in the in the orogenic process, which is the process of mountain building, because you can picture most, whether it's, you know, if you've got granites, that's a, uh, uh, an igneous rock. And typically that's going to be a large thick mass without layering in it. Sedimentary rocks have layers and those layers can be put down in an ocean which is going to give you limestones or, or uh, dolomites. It could be on land like if it's a near shore environment it might be a lot of mud and fine grain stuff that gives you shales and um, slate ultimately if it gets metamorphosed. It could be a, along a beach, which is going to give you sandstone, or a desert, which is going to give you sandstone. And if you look at sandstones, for example, you can do, there's a very distinct difference between sand that was moved and emplaced by wind, say, as contrasted with water. But the mm. point is, is that most of these sedimentary processes yield horizontal layering.